Hi all, this is Polina from Flow, and in this video I will go over how to import demo content into your new Flow theme site. Uh, this is the second step from our Flow theme um, steps over here that will help you to build out your new site. And uh, here in the second step, getting started step specifically, uh, we are outlining the different ways you can start building your site depending where you're coming from, from what flat platform and how you're intending to build out the new site. In this specific video, I will be going over the second option that is described here, which is adding our demo site content uh, to this to your new site and building out your pages from there so this is specifically explained in import demo content uh, tab over here uh, which you can see the video that you're currently watching and um, you will notice that we also have a uh, drop down with options to select a demo to be imported so before we go ahead and do that i wanted to just quickly um, share with you kind of a roadmap before you actually start adding your own content. So the first step would be to import the demo that I will show. Um, then we'll enable pretty links, we'll clean up the pages and remove any unnecessary ones. We'll then confirm the navigation menu um, and finally check permalinks and page titles and um, only when every every step uh, from the above are done, you'll be able to start adding your content. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and select which demo we want to import. Um, basically, you can see that we currently have options for demo fresh, classic, earth, and almond. Um, I'm currently having a Fiji uh, installed. So basically, um, I'm able to see uh, all the different demo uh, styles over here. So this is the fresh one. You can go ahead and check the other ones. Uh, so the first step is to really select which style you want. And each theme of ours has different styles and different demos, uh, which will be reflected in this drop dropdown. So what I will do, I'll just select demo fresh and I'll click on import dummy data. Uh, here it will ask me for permission or um, confirmation, let's better say, and I'll click on OK and I'll wait till this loader uh, will finish um, loading. Um, and once it's finished loading, um, that means the content is imported. Okay, so this is now imported. So I'm gonna go into my um, site preview and um, you see what I have before the actual demo was um, imported. And I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh. Okay, now that we have um, our demo imported, one thing that you will notice is that all the images that were in our demo, um, they're not in the um, in the content that imported. Uh, that is because the, the rights to the images belong to the photographer that we're using specifically for each uh, demo. However, we have this, um, this placeholders that you'll be able to update with your own content. Other than that, the whole structure is kept as uh, within the demo, as you can see. So um, that is all here, including also the, uh, the fonts and the overall style. So from here, let's go back and check um, what we have next in our steps. Now that we have imported everything, we will go through the next step, which is enable pretty links. And for this, we will go inside our dashboard to settings and we'll go to permalinks. And here, the main thing is that we want to make sure that our links are beautiful um, and um, straight to the point uh, whenever we're posting anything. So we'll select post name uh, permalink. So I'm just going to check that as completed as well. Now we're going to clean up our pages. And here, what is important to understand is that whenever we made the demo content import, we basically uh, imported the structure that we have in our demo, uh, which is all these additional layouts, um, all the different uh, options and templates for pages, blogs, portfolios, and other pages, contact pages. So we do not need all of that. 
for, for this to be able to remove unnecessary pages, you need to make sure that you have selected the pages that you actually want to have, or the, let's say the layouts that you want to have. So first would be important that you establish your sitemap and then to establish the layouts that you guys want to have specifically um, on your pages. So let's assume that I will go for um, simple portfolio, portfolio site and I'll have home two, uh, I'll have about one, I'll have a uh, list A for my blog, um, and I'll have a portfolio, and I'll have an investment page and contact. So that'll be pretty much straightforward what we have in Fiji, um, but just a bit more defined, and then I'll just be removing the unnecessary pages. So to remove the unnecessary pages, I will just select the ones that I don't need. Um, so here we have, so let's assume I'll have contact A, I'll remove contact B, I'll remove home one, uh, I'll remove home three, I'll keep the investment. Here with uh, list A, I'll keep that as my blog, and then I'll remove the rest of that. Um, okay, and I'll also remove my sample page and shop. Okay, and I'll do a bulk action. Um, I will move to trash and apply. One thing that is important here is that um, you can either remove all these uh, pages uh, permanently, uh, so delete permanently, or if you think that you have restored that and might use a specific template or layout, just keep them in trash and then you are able to restore that back into your pages. So at the moment I have the following pages, so if I'm just going to go ahead and refresh, you'll notice that um, my menus have basically updated, as you can see, some of them at least, since I don't have some of those pages. So what we will do next is confirm our navigation menu. So as you can see, we still have those drop-downs uh, that we don't necessarily need because we have just the main tabs without any drop-downs. For this, what we'll do is go to our uh, appearance, and we'll go to menus. You'll notice here that it already kind of shows us that, hey, there's an error. These items are not valid because they don't exist. And you'll notice that we have just one main, main menu and we're just gonna go ahead and remove all these unnecessary uh, menu um, tabs that we have. One thing to note is that um, this structure uh, shows that this is a dropdown. So this is the main tab and I'll just remove that because we don't need it anymore. And this, um, the ones that are below and a bit indented are the uh, drop-down items. So here we have our home and I'll just change the label to just home without home too. Um, I will remove this main tab for the drop-down. I'll remove the invalid page here and I'll just change this to my just simple about me, for example. Um, for blogs, same here, I'll just remove that um, and I'll change my list A into blog or let's say journal and I'll remove all the pages that I don't need over here. Okay, we don't need this either because that's just part of our demo to showcase. Um, for our links, I'm going to go ahead and remove this as well. Um, but you just need to know that this is part, it's still existing in our galleries. And I'll show you more about that. Um, and we'll remove portfolio for now as well. Now I have the investment page and I'll just keep it like so as a main page by removing the main tab here. That will stay investment and I'll remove contact main tab and just the drop down item will be my main page and I'll just call that, let's say get in touch and uh, save my menu. And then I'm just going to go back to um, to my preview and um, you'll see that everything has uh, updated basically. Okay, so now we're down with uh, confirming my navigation menu. 
um, now would be important to check my permalinks and page titles. Before we do that, let's go over all galleries. And you'll notice that we actually have galleries here, uh, which are from our demo. So you either need to delete that or um, use the already existing ones to um, upload your own images. However, here, make sure um, that you're changing the titles as well. So best, obviously, would be if you, um, if you delete this. Um, and you can do that just by selecting them all and just, again, move to trash and apply as a bulk action. And then you can just go ahead and start adding your own um, galleries. And for that, you can just refer to our uh, documentation on how to create galleries and uh, page templates and so forth. So um, these are, this is our main documentation hub. And you'll just select your uh, theme uh, and start uh, building that up. Okay, so uh, that's on galleries. And you'll notice that posts are as well from our demo. So here again, you'll need to um, delete this all and move to trash. So you'll apply that and you'll start building out your own posts when you're ready. So that's uh, pretty much it. I think there's also elements in our slideshows. Again, you'll be able to delete this um, and move to trash and you'll build out your own slideshows. Um, and slideshows are the ones that you basically see here at the top. Um, and you can read that in your themes documentation, how specifically to build that out. So for pages, we will uh, add a new page. And specifically, I want to add my portfolio. And I'll select from templates. And here, I will select a listing type Let's imagine I want my portfolios to look like that. I'll apply the template. And from my listing, I will select to show galleries. Okay, so here I just want to make sure that I also have my portfolio and I'll publish. Again, all of this is within your documentation on the theme, uh, which basically will walk you through the process. Now I will want to add this into my menu since that's the sitemap I've established. And here it is right at the top, and I'll add that to um, my menu here, and I'll just scroll that all the way up so it's one of the first ones to, um, to be here. And as I mentioned, our next step is check permalinks and page titles. And I'll go back to pages here. And what is important here is to basically update the main title here and the, uh, the link. And specifically, on your browser tab is the about dash two that basically will be your site.com um, forward slash about dash two which is not really user friendly so maybe you'd want here to be about slash dash us or about dash uh, polina for example um, and this is something that i would be able to do from um, from the pages tab here and i'll just click on uh, quick tab and i'll write about dash polina for example and i'll update that and same for each one of these so get in touch and here again get in touch okay um, and you'll do that for each of your um, of your pages to make sure that the slugs and the urls are all um, correct and uh, descriptive so list a is our blog I'll just call it journal. So again, this depends just on your preferences, but also on your already um, built out SEO, for example, depending what you have currently. So now that we're done with this links, one thing that you want to make sure is that whenever you click on your logo, once you upload it, it goes to your homepage. Right now, it goes to a not found page because uh, a different layout was, um, was selected as a main home page okay so to avoid this and to have my home page or the selected layout as the main home page which is a default function here in terms of WordPress when you click on the on the logo to, uh, to redirect you to your home page we'll go to settings and reading and here I will uh, select a static page as my home page 
and I'll select home and post page will be my uh, journal and I'll just save the changes here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and update and when I click on my logo um, I will have it redirect to my home page. Now that we're done with permalinks and page titles you're ready to start adding your own content. At this point um, in this video, we are, have covered everything we needed in terms of steps. What you can go ahead and do is um, basically go over the steps in our flow theme tab and implement your header and start basically building out your pages by using the tutorials that we have uh, prepared for each theme. I hope this video was helpful and hope you're enjoying setting up your new site with flow themes.